what's going on chaser and sports media welcome back to the video guys uh today we're going to be talking about the main event of ufc vegas 71 um which is sergey pavlovich versus curtis blades going to be a great fight you know you got song yadong versus ricky simone uh ricky simone uh brad tarvez versus bruna silva bobby green versus jared gordon and you know there's some other fights on there um that you obviously want to look at but nonetheless like a really good main card like i'm, I'm really excited for these fights um, but I'm also really excited for the main event because I like both of these fighters. I love the heavyweight division. I think it needs some spark in it, um, you know, because John Jones is there, Steve Bay. But I just think the new wave is coming, right? So we need new guys to step in and be, and be better, right? Um, you know, and I'm a big Sergey Popovich fan. Um, but uh, as you can see, I do have the odds. I do have the odds in favor of Curtis Blades because of the competition, because of his style. Um, but that's not to say that Sergey doesn't have a chance. But let's start with, like, outlining Sergey Popovich. He's 6'2". 30 years old, 257 pounds is the last time he weighed in. Heavyweight division, he's a striker. He's 17 and 1, and he's the number three contender in the heavyweight division. Um, really good fighter. Sergey is is awesome. Sergey, like a lot of the times um, with Sergey, he doesn't go out of like the, the first round too much. Like as I'm looking here, guys, you'll see it. Uh, you know, he just comes coming off the win of Tai Tu Avasa, which is great. Obviously, 54 seconds round one. Derek Lewis, 55 seconds round one. I mean, those two guys who are really good in the heavyweight echelon right but uh, obviously Derek Lewis you know we're all gonna say that he is he is getting a little bit older now um might not be the same him uh Shamil uh round one Maurice Green round one um Golm round one obviously his only loss on his record is to Alistair over, or um Alistair Overeem right um which is something right there's something to think about because that wasn't the best Overeem we've ever seen as well but yeah he did defeat Overeem um, but like this guy doesn't go to the first round a lot. So, you know, he's getting, he's been scheduled for a, you know, a few other five round fights in his other, like, um, um, in, in his other, uh, promotions like fight night, global and whatnot. But, um, this is the first time in UFC. I think he's going five. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a good fight and I'm excited for it, but, um, you know, I, I for keys to victory for Sergey, keep everything up the middle, deny takedowns overthrow um curtis with volume you know he's his hands are fast they come in a lot just get some volume in there punch him get in there hit the body hit up top overwhelm him um he's gonna want to take you down um you know set the pace and keep a bit of distance you obviously don't want to keep him too close the only reason i say you don't want to keep curtis too close is because he does have the power he does have the the overhand and the, the uh, uppercuts with power but he also will wrestle he will wrestle you down right he'll get you on the ground and he will hold you there for a while and that's hard to do um yeah i do have him as the plus 125 underdog uh just because sergey i guess I, I i look at curtis blades resume and i just think a little bit more of it um i think it's going to be a little bit harder to, you know for sergey to win um when he's going against a guy like curtis who has had the competition who has fought these great guys who has had great wins and great losses to learn from but you know um curtis blades is 6'3 265 pound heavyweight division he is a wrestler he's 17 and 3 and he's a number four contender um, keys to victory for Curtis Blades. I said that, you know, he wants to capitalize off of mistakes. Um, grapple Popovich, get him down. Uh, don't give Sergey distance. Close distance with grappling. Yeah, you want to grapple this guy. Sergey is not someone you want to stand up and just bang with because he is fantastic with striking. He, his hands are fast and they're strong. And he has the power that you're looking for in a heavyweight. So if I were Curtis, you, Curtis, you're going to want to look at to bring this to the ground. Try to get good ground and pound going because he, he is going to be susceptible to that. But that, if I'm looking at it, that's like your way of winning, right? That's going to be Curtis's way of blending. Stand up and standing and banging with Pavlovich will not prove to be the best game plan for him. And I think he knows that. Um, Pavlovich is going to really have to look to deny these takedowns and, and not allow Curtis Blades to... To, to go inside on him, right? And uh, for Sergey again, like I want to bring this back up. Uh, when I missed was keeping everything up the middle, right? When you have a when you have a wrestler who's going to want to take you down and 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 whatnot, um, it, it's nice to keep everything up the middle. We saw um, in Kansas City, we saw that Edson Barbosa had just thrown a knee up the middle, um, and then Billy Quarantino ran into it, right? He came into his knee, and and because of a takedown attempt, so it's important for Sergey to keep everything up the middle. Uh, but this is why I have winning, guys. I do have I do have um, Curtis Blades winning, even though I'm a huge uh, Sergey fan. So, you know, I hope Sergey wins, but I, I do think Curtis Blades will win, um, just because I think he's going to be able to get him down, and I think the fight's going to be a lot, uh, you know, maximized right there and then. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know who you guys got in the comments below. Have a great day.